Hey everybody, welcome to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. And we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we got our store haul for the month of March. We got some great stuff, so let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell dingy thingy my bobber, and give us this video a like for us. That way you can follow all the stuff that we're doing, help us grow this channel. Uh, we've got quite a bit of unicorns coming up in this video. And not only this video, but over the last year, we've actually got quite a bit. Got a good score, yeah. Um, we're going to do a video on uh, bourbon hunting, our bourbon tips, and, and how, how we're finding all this amazing stuff. Uh, we've got quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff. and uh, yeah. So let's get into it, all right? Yeah. So we're starting off today, great, great pour. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. It's, it's a phenomenal sipper. Throw it on a big rock and and you just you're good. It's 129 proof. It's just it hits the spot, but it drinks nice. Yep, keeps you warm on a cold day. So we'll start with the stuff that we've sort of gone through in our little bourbon bar here. Um, we had a store pick of Eagle Rare, one of the first ones that we ended up going through, and this was a great one. This this one we basically drank just like this, just a nice sipper and and have it with a good cigar. It was phenomenal. You can't go wrong with Eagle. Um, so we went through a couple of these handy and chillers. We've been on a huge old fashioned kick and these things are spot on, like absolutely phenomenal. You see our review on them. I think it's one of the best ones. We're going to be doing an old fashioned flight pretty soon with the pre-made stuff. Lines. Yeah. Yeah. We're... But these ones so far, like that we tried, I think they've probably been the best. We got a couple we haven't tried yet. But... A couple we haven't tried. And I have to say, you know, we work long hours and you come home and you don't want to put a lot of effort in something. You just want to throw something on some ice and sit down in the recliner and sip a little bit. Yep. And it does it so well. So next one, Evan Williams Single Barrel. The nice thing about this one is it's really, really inexpensive. Yeah, it's great. It's not it's not your equivalent of Blands. A lot of people will say, oh, you can try this instead of Blands. You absolutely can. It is a smooth sipper. It's just, it's really low on the proof. It's like 86, 86 proof. So really low on the proof. But other than that, it's it's a really good one. And I, we had that straight, just you know, on the rocks. Uh, we don't do a lot neat. We do a lot more just on the rocks or, or mixes. That's just our preferred way. Um, and the other thing that we used to use that in, Old fashions. So proof syrup kicked that one to the to the ground, and Elijah Craig kicked that one to the ground. I won't be buying another one of these. Um, I, however, will be buying more of these. Elijah Craig was um, yummy. That was great. And then my uh, my my favorite one so far of this this past month that we kicked was the Old Forester single barrel bell strength. This thing was great, and you know what? It's got a little bit left in it that I think needs a home. Really make sure that that one kicks. That was a delicious bottle. That was absolutely phenomenal. I, I'm going to keep buying those. The second I see an Old Forester Blue on the shelf, Blue Labels, I'm buying them. The single barrel barrel strings hard to find right where they're at. Yeah, they're very, very hard, hard to find. All right, so what did we come up with in the last month? Um, and we'll get into how we found all this stuff again on our bourbon hunting video tips coming up. Um, in another couple of weeks, we'll probably be putting that one out for you guys. Uh, but we've got a lot, a lot of great stuff. Um, and the first one, this is courtesy of my wife, is Elmer T. Lee. Um, impossible to find. Impossible to find. And the best part about this is this got bottle it at retail. got it at retail for $38. I mean, you can't go wrong. I will actually say that about all of our stuff that we have, we got it all at retail. There was no secondary pricing on any of the stuff, which was great. Yep, yep. So we got some Elmer T. Lee. I'm so looking forward to trying this. Yeah, me too. Um, seeing what makes it so special. All right, our next magical one: Cigar Blend Batch 66. This was a huge score for you, Matt. Huge. I was uh, heading down to a friend's house. Figured I'd stop into the local Total Wine. Uh, I just have never been to that one before. I always go straight for the locked cabinet just to find out what's in there, because, I mean, that's where your good good stuff is going to be. And it was just sitting there all alone. It needed a friend, so I was like, yeah. I ran to find the first employee I could find just to make sure I could get this one. And the best part about this one was actually, I think, our timing. Because the week before we found this, we were both talking about paying secondary, a stupid secondary $3 price. $3.99. Just to try to get one. 
Yeah. And we've been trying for years and we haven't even yeah, found anything. Over two years. And, and yeah. So now we got it for one hundred and sixty nine dollars. I was ecstatic about that. Oh and so we're gonna be doing a review on this one coming up as well, so yeah. make sure you follow us for that. I am so looking forward to that. This one. was a good definitely a good one. Oh. All right, what we got next? All right, uh-huh. next we got 1792 full proof. This is a uh, store, store pick. pick. 1792, it's a great bourbon. Like, you're trying to get into it. Uh, we also have the bottle and bond. I got the full proof, the small batch. The bottle and bond is actually the very first 1792 that I had, and it was great. Um, I have, I have yet to have the full proof, so this is 125 proof. I just I can't wait to get into it and see how this one's going to end up being. Definitely. All right, now a little bit of Heaven's Door here. So this one's the uh, double barreled. So it's it's very light, which has me a little concerned. I know it's going to be a young bourbon. Um, a lot of people have been deciding to do some reviews. This is like the Bob Dylan, sort of the celebrity. Every celebrity is wanting to put their name on something lately. Um, but I figured, hey, it's it's you know it's going to be one of those toasted ones. Why yeah. not get it, see what it's like, throw it in a blind flight, and, and we'll see what happens with it. Yeah. So Definitely something to add to the toast. I was gonna say it comes Plus. in at what hundred proof, so it's not even bad for the proof too. All right. Next one, the special one we just got the other day. Now I'm at fifteen. Yeah, and this one comes in. I want to say it's one hundred and five. Yeah, one hundred and five proof. Um, fifteen year bourbon. They they, they retail about one hundred and twenty dollars, which is isn't bad for fifteen years. I mean, you're you're under ten dollars ten dollars a year. I just hope it drinks at that price point. We've we've got some high price stuff that hasn't drank at that price yeah, point. Yeah, some, some so stuff that's been a little weak. I, I do hope it does drink. I want to compare point. this to the Sam Houston 15 that we got and see how, you know, they're sort of in the same ballpark for stuff. So we'll see how it compares. All right, next, Smoke Wagon, uncut, unfiltered. Super excited that we got. We yeah. actually got two of these. Um, and we got, we signed up for their online notification thing, saw that it was dropping. And, I mean, these things, usually a couple hours, they end up selling out. Nobody around us carries them, so it's very hard. There's one store that does sell them. They usually, they're, they're actually marking them up now at secondary because I'm assuming they buy them at retail and then have to still make a, a profit on it. Um, but very apple very just, I mean, it's got a, a different flavor profile, obviously coming from, you know, Las Vegas. Like, different flavor profile, but it was delicious. And, and they're all pretty good uh, proofs, too. This one's... Uh, 57, 7, 8, so what, 115? All right, to replace our Eagle Rare we went with, we got another Eagle Rare, different store pick this time. Store pick, this one's uh, Redstone Liquors, which their stuff, their store picks have probably been, I'll, I'm going to go on a limb and say my favorite store picks has come from Redstone. Uh, it's a store down in Massachusetts. They have just phenomenal picks. We ended up getting, uh, we have four of these bottles, which is going to be nice. So we got yep. a lot of drinking to do. Um. They're also the ones that made the special Yoda bottles, baby yep, Yoda. Makers. Uh, they, they're just, when you find one of these small stores, though, support them. Because, you know, you find somebody who does good picks, like, support those stores. Because you'll keep going back and, and back for more and more. And, I mean, we've, that's that's something that we do. We, we go down there routinely just to get stuff. And uh, not just special bourbons, too. I've gotten rums and other things from them, too. Yep. All right. Next up, Wilderness Trail. So bottled and bond, um, single barrel. Seeing what this is, um, what this one's all about. This one is obviously a hundred proof. Um, I'm not sure about the age statement on this one. I was gonna look into it more, but I've heard a lot of people talking good stuff about Wilderness Trail, and I was like, you know what? We haven't tried it yet. Let's mm. throw it on the list. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to still go through, but when you find something that everybody's talking good about, you yeah. want to try. It. And a lot of people said it was a pretty sweet mash that they had um, used for it. So yeah. So definitely looking forward to that one. All right, another regular, just one hard to find, Henry McKenna. Yeah, went into a store looking for something totally else, and saw this little guy sitting on the shelf all by a lonesome, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna add him to our shelf because this is another one. I have yet to have a bottle letting me down. Yeah, and I know you've had all good bottles, so it's it's been one of those things where if you find it, hundred proof, single barrel, you just you buy it. We we have plenty of it. But we never know when it's going to run out and be hard to find it took again. It us two years to, to find, find one, one and then we got a you know, we got a rash of like seven or eight of them. Yep. Um, so whenever you see it, just grab it. Yeah. Just pick it up. You'll be happy. All right. Next guy, New England Barrel Company. So this has a interesting little 
story behind it. Yeah, so this one, we come from a state-controlled, like one of those ABC type things, New Hampshire uh, liquor runs all of New Hampshire's uh, spirits. Uh, we had a bourbon club locally that did a pick, tried to buy it. The state did a cease and desist on it, which sucked. Had to put it through the store. Uh, luckily, it went out. It sold out, actually, in a couple of days through the store. Yeah. Um, but we ended up getting a couple of bottles, and um, it's it's an MGP product, and it comes in at, what, 113.9. Uh, so um, I want to say it was five or six years uh, for MGP, which is usually always going to be good stuff. Um, so definitely looking forward to getting into this one. Yeah, too. looking forward to trying that. Um, and then some more of what we love and have been drinking a lot of lately. Yeah, you find something you like, you grab seven or eight bottles of it. And that's pretty much what I did. <laughs> it's, I went in, I was like, how much you got? I, I don't take everything off the shelf. I'm not one of those whiskey douches that's going to just clear the shelf. Um, but, you know, they had a ton on the shelf. So I grabbed, you know, a couple. So we'd have, always have some on hand because... Not only that, we're going to have some friends over. We've been talking to some people. They've been looking for some good old fashions. Um, seems like the old fashions really make a huge comeback. Yeah, right it's now. definitely got a little kick going so, on. So uh, I'm going to do some some tastings for some friends and, and, and you know show them how great this stuff is. All right, next we got a couple <coughs> horsies as well. Yeah, two Blantons, um, you know, we didn't, we, this was from a, a state lottery, you know, thing. We didn't even enter into win these things. Somehow did. Got them at retail, fifty eight ninety nine. So whenever you get something for $58, that's Blanton's, you buy it. Yep. Even though we, we, and we have quite a bit of it, but you know what? You keep it's, it, you hold it, you trade it. It's you, good it's, drinking. It's great too. to drink, too. I'm just yeah. going to keep, keep doing this. Sipping them down. Yep. All right. Getting towards the end here, we got some red breast. Yeah, twelve year. Uh, you know what? I've I've honestly not dipped a lot into Irish whiskey, and I figured I got to start somewhere. Yep. Um. So Jameson's been been the one thing so far, which is obviously you say Jameson, everybody knows Jameson. Um. Red breast though. Started doing some research. Everybody's been saying great things about this. So you know what? Give it a try. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna dive into it and see what happens to it. So looking forward to this one. And All right. our last great one, good old E.H. Taylor. Yes. And um, I was super excited because this, again, goes, it just, the, the state up here just drops them on a whole bunch of bourbon finder groups. Everybody said, hey, this dropped. He went to the store, tried to find it, and they said, oh, no, we don't have them. Well, they did have them. They were apparently just holding them for special people. Yep. I ended up going to the same store the following morning, right when they opened, and asked the same question, and they're like, yeah, we got them up front here. And they just had them up front in the locker room. So we should have two of these. But we got one. But we got one. I, I was still happy because it's my very one. first one I've been able to find, small batch. Uh, they've also had some single barrels uh, that have been released throughout the state. But, I mean, they drop and they're gone within, like, two hours. Like, statewide. Yeah. Like, everybody just hammers the stores. Um, but I'm glad that Gotta we got one on to the shelf. Them. Yeah, and we can actually start trying them out. So, so that was our great month of uh, bourbon hunting. Uh, let us know down in the comments, what did you get for this past month? Did you find any of the unicorns you've been looking for? Um, and still follow us along for some other mansion, all right? Hope you guys all have a great day.